first Atlanta judge could decide Thursday whether or not to put the brakes on a billion dollar river district development project. This after a suit was filed challenging the constitutionality of that deal. New at 10 WDSU reporter Eli Brand live with a breakdown of that lawsuit. Eli. Right, and that potential setback comes on the same day that the City Planning Commission actually recommended approval of a street relocation that would move the project forward. We are, are adamantly against this. I would love for you to, to, to deny it. Two sides with a lot of passion presented their arguments to the New Orleans City Planning Commission on Tuesday for a small part of the River District development. While the commission eventually did vote to recommend relocation of a portion of Melpamine Street to the city council, a large threat to the project could be looming later this week. What we're requesting is that this project is halted until the contract and the leases that have been established and created comply with Louisiana constitutional law. Ken Barnes and his client Warehouse Cafe LLC say a judge will decide whether or not to put a temporary restraining order on the project in its entirety this Thursday. That comes after they filed a lawsuit on Monday claiming the lease agreement between the Ernest N. Morial Convention Center and the River District Neighborhood Investors violates the Louisiana Constitution. Barnes and his client claim the Convention Center leased the space to RDNI for around $800,000 a year, about half of the $1.6 million a year they claim the land is worth. Barnes says RDNI then gave Top Golf a lease of $1.5 million per year, meaning they stand to profit $700,000 a year. Money he says taxpayers could be getting instead. What my client is doing is saying that as a citizen of New Orleans, on behalf of the other citizens of New Orleans, that he stands and says that the money that's being cut from charging RDNI the proper fair market value as the, as the Louisiana Constitution requires is taking money away from the citizens of New Orleans. The convention center did not respond to a request for comment on the lawsuit Tuesday evening, but RDNI did, saying, quote, our DNI is not a party named in the suit. However, we stand by MCCNO and the lease agreement we executed with them. Close quote. Barnes says there's also a provision in that 99 year lease that would allow our DNI to build the land top golf stands on for around $15 million, even though he claims that it's valued at over 32 million. Reporting live, Eli Brand, WDSU News.